This boy socks big time. That ain't what your mother I'm said. <laughs> man, it's all love, it's all jokes, man. Welcome back. In my previous video, we talked about this Steam Deck dock from JSOX or JS Ox. And what I said was that it would be a two part video where in the second part of the video, we're gonna be doing something that I haven't seen anybody do. This is not that video, I apologize, please forgive me. It's gonna be a little more involved and I'm gonna make that a longer video. I don't do a lot of long videos on this channel, but that might be a 20 to 30 minute video of showing you the whole process on how I do everything here on the Steam Deck. So man, please subscribe and stay tuned for that. I really appreciate all the love that I got on the previous video. Now, what I wanted to do today is address some comments and some concerns about this dock and the Steam Deck in general. One of the main features of this particular dock was that M2 slot. Now, I should have did this in the first video, but today we're gonna to install the SSD, get it up and running. I'm gonna show you that process. And along the way, I'm gonna address some comments that were left in my previous video about the Steam Deck and just overall thoughts. Secondly, at the end of this video, I'm gonna do something that I, <laughs> I'm somewhat nervous about, but I'm actually excited to see if it works. And I promise, I'm actually gonna do it in this video. So <laughs> that's not a click and bait. I'm actually gonna do it in this video. So let's just go ahead and get into it and see what's good. All right, now before we get into this, I wanna address this first comment, which was actually the first comment on the video from a very good friend of mine, Lorenza. It's always a blessing whenever I get the chance to be in his presence. In the past year, I purchased a Nintendo Switch. This is making me rethink that decision. It may have to be handed down to the kiddo. Great content, looking forward to part two. On that comment, you'll see that I actually replied that they can coincide and someone was like, yeah, they can work together. So in my previous video, I cut it out, but I did mention how the Switch had been my previous favorite console before the Steam Deck arrived. Not that I have anything against it, I'm just a PC gamer now. The Switch is still gonna be here for when I wanna play that new Zelda, but the ability to play Red Dead Redemption 2, Cyberpunk 2077 on the go with my Steam Deck just makes it, you know, my new favorite is my new boot. <laughs> they can definitely live together and coexist. It's just up to you. But let's go ahead and install this SSD. so I finally got it all going right now I'm currently installing a game JSOX does provide you a lot of information it took me a second you know I don't know if I'm just slow today or what but it took me a second to get it going a quick tip I could give you when you're formatting your partition if it gives you the option to make it accessible to just root or everyone choose everyone because I formatted mine and chose root and it wouldn't show up or anything. It basically made it a read only device. But when I switched it to everyone, then I was able to go in, add the Steam library, then pull it up in Steam and make it a downloadable folder that I could go ahead and add a game to. But before we get to the game, and I wanna address another comment that I got on the previous video. This one says, <laughs> Just simply gaming beast. I replied, like, I'm just saying. And then they replied to me, it's not even a gaming beast at 800p. So on far bigger screen, it's less powerful than a $950 PC. And there were a couple of comments like that. You're still dealing with the power of the Steam Deck. Now, of course, if you bit to compare this to a $950 PC, of course, this is not going to win. With a PC like that, you can get an actually powerful GPU with a much more powerful CPU. I did all of this knowing that if I connect my Steam Deck to the dock and play on a monitor, it's still going to play those games at the best settings that would be for a Steam Deck with this small 
screen. Is this going to beat out a dedicated gaming PC? Probably not. In fact, there are other handhelds that have better performance in a lot of AAA titles than the Steam Deck. But the problem with those is they're much, much more expensive. Till somebody can put a real powerful mini PC together that competes, you know, financially with the Steam Deck. Right now, the Steam Deck is probably the best option for most people. But let's get into these games. <laughs> Man, let's talk about it. What I did is I moved The Witcher 3 from my SD card onto that SSD and it's working perfectly fine. I'll say that the process may be a little bit slower than it would be if I had an NVMe Gen 3 or Gen 4 SSD, but otherwise it was totally acceptable. Now another thing you're going to have to remember about installing games onto the SSD in this dock from JS Ox is that whatever game you're going to install will only be available when you connect it to this dock. That means if you hit the streets and you want to play your favorite game but you installed it to the SSD in this dock, then you won't be able to play it unless you take that dock with you. But I have one last comment that I want to read for y'all. Stoked to see how it works with the M.2 installed. Curious if you could just pull an M.2 directly out of a PC with Windows installed and have it run on the Steam Deck. Let's try it. So before we go forward, I want to state that I am actually, I won't say terrified, but I am worried when I don't really need to be. The one good thing about the Steam Deck, they do show you how to reset it. There's a great community and you should be good to go if you ever just need to reset your Steam Deck back to factory settings. The same thing with that drive. That drive is actually from this computer back here, which is going to be sold. So if anything goes wrong with it, I'll just format it and start it again. Let's just go ahead, turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so I was able to get it into BIOS while connected to the actual dock. So I went in and I made it boot from shell network and removables first. Let's say, and exit, let's see what happens. Wow, yo, it's working. It just booted into Windows. Wow. This is crazy. Yo, that is wild. What? So this is, Pretty exciting. So my SD card got full. I don't even remember where I was when I ended, but basically I was just saying how crazy it is that I took an SSD with Windows installed out of it and put it directly into the Steam Deck and it kind of booted. Now, big shout out to the Windows on Deck Reddit community. I left a comment there and someone somewhat verified that this should work. Now I know there are a bunch of different ways to put Windows onto a Steam Deck. I just never imagined it would really be this easy to just simply take the hard drive out of my other computer, put it into the dock, boot it up, and it's just working here. Let's actually see if we can get some gaming going. A few moments later. <laughs> Yo, I love videos like this because not only am I showing you the process, I'm learning myself. So I think I may have messed something up with the Windows installation or the Windows drive. It hung while it was trying to update Call of Duty. I pressed the power and then when it rebooted, it didn't go into Windows and now it's not even showing up as an option in my boot devices, which is cool because like I said, I was gonna format this and start fresh anyway, but honestly, I thought it was just super cool that it worked 
In fact, I'm going to play around with it. If you want to see if I can get it back up and running, I suggest you go follow me either on TikTok at DVZN Media or on Instagram at DVZN Media 2 T O O. But you can see the Steam Deck is working fine. Um, the Steam Deck is working fine, so I'm not worried about it at all, man. I just got to say, this is a crazy little device. The versatility, what you could do with it, I'm not mad at it. I had buyer's remorse. I got all the way over that. I'm gonna get up out of here because it's kind of late, man. I haven't had anything to eat. Any comments that you leave down below, man, I'm gonna try to get them answered, interact with y'all, man. I have fun. Like again, it's all love. I don't even care if it's hate. I appreciate you watching the video and even dropping a comment. I'm gonna get up out of here. She can't for Dookie. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy.